Hey you all, it's such a blessing to meet you all in this wonderful evening. Especially the nation Nigeria is grieving for her great great loss, General Prophet T.B. Joshua's loss. It's not only for Nigeria, for all of us. Seven, eight years ago, God, in one of the prophetic conference, God revealed um, the mission that, that he is going to carry out in Nigeria through the mantle upon me. Ever since, somehow God poured out his love for Nigeria, I always pray for her. However, in this very uh, significant, special moment, I feel it is mandate for me to release the word. Chronologically, geographically, futuristic, one day Armageddon war will happen. After all the church is raptured, we will not be seeing that. Revelation 13 and 16 and 17 it records Armageddon war. Let me just give a very short glimpse of what, who or all would be the enemy of God. There it mentioned Trinity of Saturn. The beast that comes out down from heaven. Sorry, the dragon comes out down from heaven and the beast comes out of the sea. So every time, you know, the dragon delegates the power and authority to the beast and the beast delegates the authority and the third entity of the trinity of Saturn is the demonic leaders, national leaders and false prophets, false leaders. There are many times we linger in this verse, we do not have, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Yes, of course, yes, we do not. But in the trinity of Satan, who is the third entity who can implement Satan's will in this fallen earth? Demonic national leaders. In Revelation it is recorded, however, whoever stand against the Lamb of God will be destroyed. Why I talk about this at this hour? Why it is very crucially important? Second Thessalonians 2 records, Antichrist can manifest to certain level, but as long as the church is here, Antichrist cannot be revealed, manifested fully. So it is, it takes church passivity to let the Antichrist to manifest. We all thought when we had issues with the election, they tried a lot of games to pull Trump out of the seat. We thought it is just a national problem, USA problem. Definitely not. Not only that, when we let Jezebels and Babylonian daughters and Antichrist demonic leaders to just to play some role. What happened? Israel war. Who is behind? The war in Israel. The COVID. Now Nigeria lost prophet of God. So, but however, so the Armageddon war is the third entity in the earth is satanic leaders. Never forget that. Never forget that God's love is not forfeiting the conviction of the demonic leaders. Anyway, good news. I really, I should have released it two weeks ago. Somehow I'm not finding time and uh, favor to release the video consistently. Keep me in prayers. Two weeks ago, when I was praying, I always ask God every time I, you know, I pray for our nation, where are we and what is happening? It is so amazing. One, one day I was meditating on Psalm 34. 
one verse it says god's eyes are upon the righteous and his ears are leaning inclining towards our cry the righteous cry at the same time god's face is against the wicked people to cut off their remembrance from this planet earth i was just uh, meditating wow what an extreme opposite the covenant language god's eyes are upon the righteous and his ears are inclined to their cry at the same time god is not just passively okay don't don't cry and i am here and pampering us no on the other way his face is against the wicked for what to cut off their remembrance from the earth when i was just meditating i saw a glorious 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 vision open eye vision three heads false heads demonic heads their heads were slayed one after another after another youtube followers they in the comment they ask who are they and i usually most of the time i, I won't read the comments but it's not my responsibility it's not the wisdom of god to tell the names but three people the false leaders who are playing with the finger of god with the fire of god their headship i was asking god literally their head is slain or slayed or their headship is gone god said both and then their heads were slayed and then just going down and then moving forward another day i was just lying down and uh, morning i believe that was on saturday morning i was thinking about our national flag i won't much pay attention i won't even even after the election or before the election i won't read i won't see even news channels if god reveals something i come and reveal that's it release it so i was uh, lying down on my bed i saw beautiful american flag but i heard about the blm flag tied up with the american flag and then all the embassies internationally they forced to do so and it was so weird it was so abomination i felt in my spirit what is that what a beautiful flag and then god ordained god designed god it is god even in one of my dream many years ago you know god showed every nation's flag and then he he asked me to pick some of the nation's flag this is not the time to reveal the what are the nations but however so here they put the blm flag and tied up with the america flag agreeing with god's heart and desire i was weeping i was praying in the prayer mode weeping what is this lord the moment i just kind of you know feeling the pain of god's heart suddenly hand of god just tripped off the blm flag down to the earth the earth was not normal it was like a mud dirty mud it just sunk down into that it just disappeared wow so awesome but god's furious anger toward this kind of actions anti christ discriminative racism manipulative things how much it is humiliating god however i was thanking god let me tell you god is working president trump taking the seat back sooner than what we think or imagine all three demonic leaders key role they are playing their heads are slayed maybe their head shape but even the last video i released i literally saw one leader killing another one when i say subordinate i say the role they you know whatever whatever they are killing each other and then the end is very bad very worse very unfamiliar so re election will occur we all will god said what for trump three times yes and it is going to happen another thing god will not let a prophet's vote to go to the to be traded to jezebel god will protect my votes that is for 
voted for Trump. However, stand firm in the fight. So what today we can do? Remember T.B. Joshua, the prophet, how his hunger and thirst for the truth and for the people. He departed when he was at his service. It doesn't matter what we do, the whole world we just go, what we do for God and his will. That alone can come with us. Stand in the fight. Whoever fight against the Lamb of God, they shall be destroyed and we shall dance rejoicing. America, you shall rejoice. Nigeria, I pray for you. Jesus Christ is going to be your double Joshua. You are not gone. The revival has just begun. We love you. Thank you. God bless you all. And keep praying. Don't give up. God is not pleased when we give up. You know, and when Jesus comes back, he look for only one thing, the faith. Hold on to the faith. Keep the fight. Stand firm. God's rewards, the crowns, every single day. It's for you, laid out for you. Your future is so bright. The best days for America is yet to come. God is the restorer of everything that was lost. Amen. Amen. God bless you.